Want to bring you a live look at Seneca, New York, right now, just miles outside of Buffalo, where the National Guard is going door to door, checking on people who've spent days without power following that deadly and historic winter storm. We spoke with Buffalo's police commissioner on rush hour, who said that he expects a rise in the death toll as search and rescue efforts continue. Meanwhile, mounds of snow still certainly sparking danger for first responders. News Nation correspondent Kelly Meyer joining us live in Buffalo, New York, where cleanup in full swing. Kelly. Yeah, Natasha, and you can see some of that cleanup here behind me. This was the scene all day. The sun back out, some of the snow starting to melt, and it was cleanup and catch up day for city officials and crews after days of being buried with snow. Days after the deadly winter storm, <coughs> Buffalo, New York is still digging out. This is my first time seeing the car since Friday. Shy Davidson left her car in this gas station parking lot five days ago. Sorry, thank you. Local police helping her out with a ride home while her car gets towed away. Today, the cleanup in Buffalo kicking into full gear. City crews working to get the power back up as hundreds of trucks clear the mounds of snow that coated the city. <laughs> that snow stopping even the fire trucks from responding to calls. Some trucks were stuck, others left only to save the exterior because their response was so delayed. We would get stuck in the snow. We'd have to walk back to our firehouses and abandon our rigs. It's the first time in our history that we couldn't respond to calls. A local firefighter union telling News Nation the city needs to be better prepared with better equipment to withstand the storm and take care of the community. It's detrimental. It's detrimental to everybody in the city and we have to be better. We have to be better as a city. And those firefighters telling me that they actually got the help of some folks in the community to clear out the fire hydrants. That has been their mission today, getting those cleared out across the city. They also tell me that EMS is now caught up a little bit on calls. They're still backed up by 900 calls, but they were in the thousands over the weekend. Natasha. Appreciate you tracking the progress for us. Kelly Meyer, live for us in Buffalo. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.